I recently created some videos for our additions to the Express MPE presets collection. I really wanted to highlight the expressive nature of the presets, not just sonically, but visually as well. Mere audio files don't do these presets justice, because it's helpful to understand the gestures that create the variations and modulations. The end result was a mix of a standard overhead shot with layers of wild colors and twisted imagery of the camera view. All of this was done in real time, meaning that the visuals were intimately tied to the sound and the contacts on the morph. The key to doing all of this in real time was a small app in our API that lets the morph send both the raw contact data along with MIDI data from the overlays. Check the description for links so you can get this running too. This app modifies a setting on the morph so I can use the force images in Max to create visualizations and use MIDI to play synths in Bitwig. I'm going to go through the pieces that make all of this work in hopes that others can use this to satisfy their own creative developments. I'll be the first to admit that the biggest challenge was not figuring out how to generate the visuals but getting all the parts working reliably in concert. It was more of a systems puzzle than a coding frenzy. I relied heavily on my previous experience with Jitter, knowing how to modify and find examples, as well as a pretty powerful computer to pull all this off without getting into much detailed coding. I first had to set up a chroma key situation, or green screen. I quickly patched together a viable color key system with Visi. Visi is a high-level modular system for video and graphics in Max, all based on the lower-level Jitter system for working with video in Max. This way, I could confirm that I could at least get something that would work using my lighting and this old green t-shirt. Working in Max, there are two options to get contact data from the morph. The individual contact descriptors and the force image bitmap using the Sensel and JIT Sensel objects. I used the force image matrix and processed it with some feedback and color to create these really nice blobs that emanate energy from my fingertips. I also poked into the examples and found a really lovely fractals generator that seemed perfect for this. I played around with it and created some preset looks for the different videos. I derived some basic pressure information from the force image simply by measuring the brightness. This measures total pressure on the morph and creates a single number that I can use in different ways to have the generated visuals react to my touches. For example, medium pressure introduces this purple tint that then fades out, and then the hard pressure introduces a red tint and more feedback. There are definitely more intricate things I could have explored, but sometimes simpler is better, especially when so much is happening. The visuals patch ultimately mixes the colored fingers, fractals generator, waveform, and camera input into a single image. Unfortunately, the camera input device I have has a lot of latency, so it was out of sync. Everything was behind. I used two instances of the Siphon Recorder app to record the individual layers, so then I could synchronize them in Adobe Premiere later. With the visuals in place, I now need to get everything working together. I'll launch the Sensel Disable Serial block in the terminal and hope for the best. The reason I say hope is that this app can be a little bit finicky, and sometimes require a few tries. The settings change can also impart some weirdness when using the morph. For example, switching overlays may not work. And then if I unplug the morph, I'll need to run the app again. Now I can use Bitwig and generate video at the same time. To pass audio to the Siphon Recorder and to Max to generate the waveform, I used Loopback, an app from Rogue Amoeba Software. There are other options that are free, such as Black Hole for Mac and VB Cable for Windows and Mac. Again, check the description for links. With all these systems in place, it's hardly plug and play. But once the plugging is done, the play can be really incredible. I hope some of you are inspired to try this out. We have lots of other tutorials about Macs and Morph on our channel. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. I'm not going to do that. 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 I
I'm not going to do it. I just know I can't do it.